Hey everyone, Mickey Moo here. I know it's been a while since I've uh, recorded anything. Um, so anyway, um, let's start recording again. Um, this time because of Super Mario Maker, although I don't have the game. I really want the game, but I do not have it. But I remember that I have a ton of, of well, custom Mario levels. Anyway, um, the process obviously is from something that rhymes with mom racking. Um, I don't want to mention emulators because uh, Nintendo has been coming down hard on um, any sort of like fan-made usage of their IPs. That includes obviously like hex editing, whatever. So the titles and the tags won't allude to that, but um, just know that yeah, these are these are games that have been made you know in the last decade or so. Um, custom Mario levels. Um, this one is. Um, Super Pikachu Land, which is a Game Boy game. I don't normally, well, I won't normally be playing Game Boy Mario games. Mostly just uh, Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario World to be in tune with the actual type of levels you'd see in Super Mario Maker. Um, but I decided to do this one because it's a classic. I played it actually on an actual Game Boy in a, a bootleg 25 in 1 ROM cart, and then I found out it was actually a, um, an actual game. Oh, a ROM hack. So I found the actual um, creator, I think, PR Trans. They made several hacks over the last decade. Um, and yeah, there's not much else to say. Um, I'll be uploading roughly a clip a day or whatever. Um, I'm calling it the month of Mario just to sort of have um, something to name all of these custom Mario levels. Um, and as I said, most of them will be from either Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario World. Um, individual <coughs> mom racks, as I've called them, to um, just display what kind of levels that, that people have made before Super Mario Maker. Now this game is actually one of the better hacks despite being on the Game Boy or being Super Mario Land, um, because it's consistently, uh, it's consistent with most of its, its, um, its sprites. Like, those are Ekans, I guess, although Ekans don't explode, but sure. Uh, you see some Oddishes? I actually don't know what those are. Shroomish? I, well, this was actually made in 2001, I think, so only Johto only, but um, as far as hacks go, it's not bad at all. This is obviously not the best playing, I just kind of went through um, just to show off what uh, assets are in the game. Um, That was poorly timed, obviously. <laughs> I'm hoping to get Super Mario Maker soon, but with student loans and just try and save money. I probably should haul off. Besides, I have, I think I have 89 individual um, versions of Mario custom games. But when I get Mario Maker, I'm going to try and make some of these levels in, into um, the game. Of course, since Mario Maker doesn't have any Game Boy assets, it's going to be kind of... I can't do this, obviously. Although, like, Super Mario Land 2 was one of my favorite Mario games. Um, the game is very sentimental to me, because my grandmother gave it to me, and um, I like the music, I like the level design, I like the powers, like the bunny Mario is pretty fun to play as. But... Um, yeah, Super Mario Maker is very specific about, because uh, I think, I mean, I, I've only seen people play custom levels, but I, I mean, 
if you all know, probably just see, it looks like Super Mario Land, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario um, Brothers 1. Oh, I guess New Super Mario Brothers 2 is a level type of level designs you could do, but yeah. yeah it feels kind of limited. And I don't know what's going on with the, the Amiibo thing, but it seems like to unlock some of the cool stuff, you have to have a ton of Amiibo that I, I don't quite know yet. Um, so I'm kind of holding off on getting it. Now, I've never played Super Mario Land, that's why I'm kind of dying here. I found it really cool how they used unknowns as the, um, the, um, Priyana plants or whatever. It gives it a very Runes of Alf kind of feel. And there's a little fix, I guess. What kind of sucks about some of these, because I'll be playing, I think, two more Pokemon on hacks. Some of them don't use very clear spri sprites. They use the Game Boy sprites, which are kind of vague. Like, here's some Lemillion kind of creature. Here's a, some sort of fox looking thing. It's like, oh, is that nine tails of the Vulpix? What, you know? I do like the music in this level. I'm pretty sure it's from the original because I've heard it in, in Smash Bros. So. And that's it for this hack.